Okay, so Farah, this was the question. Uh, I think you were asking me. Bobby baked a cake and cut it into twelve equal pieces. So clearly, you can notice that here you are having the two equal pieces of a cake. Uh, the first question is, what fraction of the cake is each piece? That's very simple. Each piece. You have to say that what is the fraction of the each piece. So if you talk about one piece, what is the fraction? It's absolutely one by twelve, because one piece they are asking you that what is the fraction of the one piece so that is one and the total number of pieces will go in the denominator so it's one by twelve each piece is one by twelve if the question is what is the each piece then you will say one but they are asking here what fraction of the cake is each piece so you have to write down the answer in the fractional form that is why one by twelve okay let's go to the next one so the next question is Bobby's younger brother, right? So there is Bobby first, who had like you know baked this cake, and now Bobby's younger brother. So I'm just writing Bobby's brother. So Bobby's younger brother ate one piece of the cake. So he ate only one piece of the cake. Color in red the part of the diagram that represents the amount of the cake that Bobby's younger brother. Eight. Very simple. So we ha you have to just color that in red part. But what amount will you color in the red part? The amount that he has eaten. So he has eaten only one piece of the cake. So let's just color any one piece. I'm just coloring this one. You can color any other piece also. So this is the amount of cake eaten by Bobby's brother. The red color. Okay. Let's go to the. Okay. Let me just check what is the other part of the question. What fraction of the cake remain? There is another question. See in question C. First question we got the answer one by twelve. The second question we are having two answer. First is we have to shade the diagram which we have done with the red color. Now there is another question. What fraction of the cake remain? So what fraction of the cake remain? If you subtract this, you know, from the ten equal pieces one, so the remaining part is nine by ten. So the first part is the shaded part, and the second part is the answer is nine by. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's a uh, total is twelve, right? I just wrote this as ten. Extremely sorry. So it will become eleven by twelve, right? You can count it. I thought there are total ten pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the remaining, what fraction of the cake remained? It is eleven by twelve, and that's the answer. Okay. So the answer here I can write on eleven by twelve. Next question. Bobby ate. See, Bobby's brother is done. Now we are talking about Bobby. Bobby ate two twelfths more than his younger brother. So what is the amount eaten by the younger brother? Clearly, the amount eaten by the younger brother is one by twelve because he had eaten one piece only. Right. Now Bobby ate two twelfths. What is the meaning of two twelfths? Two by twelve. More than his younger brother, so he ate mo two twelfths more. That means one by twelve plus two by twelve. Then only you can say that he has eaten two twelfths more than his younger brother. So what his younger brother eaten plus the two twelfths that will actually tell you the amount of cake eaten by Bobby. So what is the answer? Clearly, this will become three by twelve. Directly you can add. So Bobby ate two twelfths more than his younger brother. That means he ate three by twelve. Color that in green, the part of the diagram that represents that represents the amount of cake Bobby ate. So we have to represent this three by twelve using green color, right? So I'll just erase all of this. And I'll use the green color now. So he has eaten three by twelve. That means he has eaten three pieces. You can shade any part again, Faria. I'm just coloring it here only. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is the amount eaten by Bobby. Right, we are done with this as well. Next, uh, okay, so we have one more question here. From here, what fraction of the cake did Bobby eat? Oh, we have written that. So the fraction of, uh, like the amount that Bobby had eaten is three by twelve. That's the answer. So we are done with A. We are done with B. We are done with C. Now we'll go to D. Bobby's friend ate the re remainder. Okay, I think there is a mistake. Bobby's friend ate the remaining of the cake, right? 
So Bobby's friends, friends, not just one friend, but Bobby's friends ate the remaining of the cake. So what is the remaining of the cake? Clearly, you can see the, all the one which are not shaded. Color that with the yellow, right? So let's color it. So all these amounts are eaten by, all these pieces are eaten by Bobby's friend. So all the pieces, because that is what it is written. There, they have written by mistake remainder, but they are talking about remaining, right? So Bobby's friend ate the remaining of the cake. Color this part yellow, we have done. What fraction of the cake was eaten by Bobby's friends? So clearly, you can write down that Bobby's friends. Okay, we are having three types of questions here. Bobby, Bobby's brother, and Bobby's friends. So Bobby's friends has eaten, like they have eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So eight by the total number, of course, which is 12. So Bobby's friend, they have eaten eight twelfths of the cake. That's the answer of D. So we are done with this as well. Next one, E. Find the sum. Find the sum of all the portions of the cake eaten by Bobby, his brother and his friend. Very simple. Just write down that sum of all the portions will be equal to. You can just write down in a, in, a, in an elaborative way that sum of all the portions will be amount of cake eaten by Bobby plus amount of cake eaten by Bobby's brother plus amount of cake eaten by Bobby's friends. So what is the amount eaten by Bobby? So Bobby amount is 3 by 12. So write down 3 by 12 plus. Bobby's younger brother, you can write down in any order because even if you add one, 3 by 12 plus 1 by 12 or 1 by 12 plus 3 by 12, it's the same. So 3 by 12 plus Bobby's brother. So Bobby's brother had eaten only one piece, right? So remember that the first part is 1 by 12. This 11 by 12 is the remaining part. Okay, so That is 1 by 12, the amount eaten by Bobby's younger brother. And the third is Bobby's friends. They have eaten 8 by 12. So clearly, what is the answer? They are like fractions. So 12 will be as it is. And then 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 8, 12. So the answer is 12 by 12, which is 1. So the answer is 1. The question says, find the sum of all the portions of a cake eaten by Bobby's brother and his friends. The answer is 1. Explain why this sum makes sense. See, because now all the amounts are eaten. So for this part, you can clearly say that we have added all the amounts that are eaten by all of them. And now because no remaining uh, you know, pieces are there, so that is why it's one. It's a whole cake. Whole cake is eaten by all three of them. Like Bobby, Bobby's brother and Bobby's friends. So that is why uh, this sum actually makes sense because we are getting the whole cake. That's the answer. So in this one, you can just write down in your little bit in your own way also, but you can just write down in that way as well, the way I said. And that's it.